Hello and good morning listeners. It's the end of the week and uh, so much volatility has made a lot many participants already say TGIF. Uh, well, I welcome you all to Almas Market Mornings with me, Shikhar Kar. And folks, we had a very interesting day yesterday with PM Modi's arrival in Mumbai led to so many businesses closing the shop early or making employees work from home. Just wondering how such uh, simple small things make uh, a lot of uh, changes around. Uh, on the other hand, if we have to talk about employees, the tech industry employees are still continuing to feel the heat as Microsoft uh, was found again announcing laying off almost 10,000 employees uh, and approx 5% of their workforce. Well, this kind of uh, heat uh, is obviously being seen because of the uh, low expectations and high borrowing costs and a lot many uh, performance side issues on the economic front and central banks are a key risk to uh, the kind of activity we are observing. And that's what even RBI was seen uh, mentioning, even though they are targeting 4% by 24 on the inflation side, uh, there is risk from the US policy. And ECB, on the other hand, seems uh, set to have multiples of 50 basis point rate hikes. So JK, I'd like to know your idea on what are we exactly going to see in the coming few days? Uh, good morning. Uh... Actually, the last few sessions have been dominated by a lot of economic news, uh, particularly from the US and uh, with policy implications, no doubt. And currencies have gained substantially against uh, the USD in the last few months that has been held on, still keeping expectation of an early pause by Fed and a rate cut later in the year alive. Uh, yields have fallen to their four month lows, hardly seen a bounce, while stock markets look undecided whether to work on a recession theory or rally on the back of uh, lower rate prospects. Uh, yesterday's data was uh, interesting. Housing starts uh, and building permits both came uh, slightly better. But uh, interestingly, 30-year mortgage rates in the US have fallen by 19 BPs to 6.23%. So that may be some relief for the individuals looking to you know borrow for uh, you know houses. Uh, weekly jobless claims, again, Surprisingly, fell to one lakh ninety thousand. Expectation was two lakh fourteen thousand last month, two lakh five thousand. But again, seasonal factors were at play. Now contrast this with Microsoft saying it's cutting ten thousand jobs. Amazon started notifying its employees about its own eighteen thousand job cuts. So it's a kind of very mixed picture as far as the uh, employment uh, situation is uh, concerned. And uh, uh, invest. The sentiment is definitely biased towards serious economic weakness, which uh, reflected, uh, which is reflected in other push session stocks, yields holding lower, and dollar really unable to maintain uh, any uh, recovery. Uh, dollar's poor performance is also intensified by Lagarde and another ECB member, plus not putting a floor under euro at 1.0780. As the eurozone posted, even as the eurozone posted a healthy current account surplus of 13.5 billion in November versus 4.2 billion deficit the previous month. So, in an apparent pushback to the story earlier in the week, suggesting ECB may limit future increases to 0.25 after February, Lagarde said she would advise investors to revise their position. Uh, and a very poor job data from Australia, in fact, also pulled Aussie down only temporarily, and uh, it has bounced back. Uh, a similar action was seen in New Zealand, where the Prime Minister uh, Aldrin said she will be resigning from her position in a shock announcement uh, at her all party, uh, you know, at her party's annual meeting. Uh, she said uh, no longer had enough in the tank to do the job. It was the reason enough to sell the uh, New Zealand dollar uh, to face some profit taking, but uh, has since found strong buying on the dip. So I'm just mentioning this to you to say that the bias on the dollar is definitely on the weaker side and the currencies are finding good support even on uh, shallow dips. Uh, in fact, yesterday for the first time, an industry expert, uh, I mean, outside of the Fed members talking about rates going above 5% and it was not a, you know, um, uh, it was not an ordinary voice. Uh, JP Morgan Chief JB Diamonds, Jamie Diamond spoke in favor of Fed rate moving above five percent, pointing to a lot of underlying inflation. Uh, interestingly, one Fed member, Bernard, acknowledged that the monetary policy was now in the restrictive territory. Uh, dollar bears ignored uh, ignored it all and latching on to Janet Allen saying Treasury has begun using extraordinary debt limit measures on Thursday as the debt insurance suspension began yesterday. Uh, while this drama on debt ceiling comes 
up once every two years. Uh, many believe that this time it could go down to the wires extremely uh, with a, in an extremely fragmented political situation. In fact, uh, 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 the Republicans hold a majority in the House, which uh, they may use as a leverage uh, on the you know, government to extract uh, their own pound of uh, flesh. So even as the Fed and the government's credibility in the uh, uh, reading, you know, uh, in reading early and handling inflation has put them in a poor light, uh, this issue will put the country's image in a poor light as well and investors strengthening their negative bias, uh, you know, on the U.S. investments. Uh, so, uh, dollar stays weak and uh, stocks remain undecided. And rupees on its own, uh, you know, prior underperformance is now actually replaced with uh, steadier to better performance and uh, mostly tracking the dollar index, but uh, definitely going uh, tough for the dollar on the higher side, not even able to break 8150. Um, hearing of uh, many flows lined up. Uh, uh, I think the pent up flows are now coming out uh, with the dollar index also showing no uh, strength and uh, uh, you know premiums rising to 2.3% uh, on an annual basis uh, uh, from a low of 1.65%. Uh, possibly dollar buying by RBI will lead to more paying by them and support the premium once again. So speculators will be out there to short the dollars uh, to enjoy the better carry, which is which it is now offering. So dollar rupee looks like uh, uh, confined in uh, you know lower ranges for now. Unless there is a bigger rally in the dollar index, uh, you can see dollar rupee uh, below eighty one fifty comfortably. And uh, any further down move in the dollar index should be uh, seeing a dollar rupee break eighty one towards uh, eighty half test which I feel will hold for quite a while. Thank you. Okay, JK, that was quite good. And yes, folks, uh, uh, I, I really like how the uh, stance have changed or the perception has changed for the performance of rupee against uh, dollar and rest of the currencies. I mean, uh, initially it was being talked about the kind of stark uh, underperformance for the INR, which has now changed to steady or strong performance uh, against the dollar. And... Uh, with all these kind of moves happening, uh, we, uh, as JK mentioned, are seeing a confined action for uh, USD INR with uh, lower ranges under expectations. So let's see how things go about for INR as a currency. But uh, it was quite shocking to see uh, New Zealand Prime Minister resigning uh, and uh, the kind of uh, uh, action that we have seen on the New Zealand dollar uh, for a quick trade of profit taking, but uh, all said and done, as JK mentioned, a weak bias for uh, dollar is persisting for the time being. So uh, let's see, uh, folks, that's it for today. And we shall come back again tomorrow. Oh, sorry, we shall come back again on Monday with another round of update. Thank you so much for listening.